Hi there, and welcome to Invest for Excel video tutorial number one. Today, I will show you how investment appraisal can be done easily with the help of Invest for Excel. We'll create a simple investment calculation from scratch and go through all the important functions and features that make Invest for Excel industry's favorite software for capital budgeting. But first of all, let's take a look at Invest for Excel main menu. It gives a good overview of software functionality. The software has a very user-friendly interface. It looks like Excel spreadsheets that you are used to, but offers much, much more. With a click of a button, the standard ribbon menu of Excel can be turned into Invest for Excel menu, with one-click access to most of its functions. You can switch between menus anytime you need it. Now I will show you how easy it is to model an investment project only in five logical steps. Let's say that we are considering purchasing of an existing hydroelectric plant. Our goal is to analyze whether this investment is favorable for us or not. To do so, we press the new file button. Then program asks us what kind of calculation we would like to create. In this case, we choose asset investment. First of all, we have to enter the basic values that are necessary for our calculation. We give a name for our project. We define the calculation term. Let's modify the defaults a bit to achieve the periodization that we need. The calculation term can be split into two calculation phases. For example, the first year, which is our startup phase, will be created on quarterly basis and operation phase on yearly basis. Total calculation term is 16 years. You can also include historical data if you have it, but we will keep it simple for now. We have defined the calculation term and it takes just a few seconds to define the rest of the information, such as accuracy of numbers and currency. Let's say that we expect a certain required rate of return of 6% and we know that income tax rate is 20%. We can also provide some contact information and project details. That was the first step. By pressing buttons with index fingers, we can easily go to the next step or come back to the previous one. The program brought us to the investment table. Here we describe all our capital expenditures according to their payment schedule. By default, we have 10 rows. However, we can expand this table up to 30 rows. In our case, we have only one investment item, which is acquisition price, and it's paid straight away in January 2017. Let's define depreciation. Here we can choose depreciation method, beginning point, time. Also, we can define where this particular item would be allocated in our balance sheet. Next table that should be filled is income statement. Here we can describe our expected income and costs. Let's see how it works. In our case, we have one income item, which is electricity sales. Let's create two new sub-rows to calculate it. We need to multiply our production and selling price. Multiplication operator can be found on the left side. What we do next, we define our production for the first period, which is a quarter. The formula can be entered right here. We multiply the capacity, number of months in a period, number of hours per day, number of days per month, and divided by 1000 to have our result in megawatt hours. We define the capacity for the first period. Let's use copy and distribute function to calculate it for the following periods. We press this button, choose copy formula in active cell. Now the formula is spread for the whole calculation time. Let's repeat this action with selling price, this time taking price development into account. Our expected income has been calculated. We are modeling quite a simple case and some rows were not in use. Let's hide them to make our calculation easier to read. Press this button at the upper left corner of the report, then press select empty rows to select rows with empty headings. And the report looks much cleaner. Now we can define our cost items. We pay 600 euros quarterly for the service and maintenance. Notice that the numbers are automatically adjusted in proportion to number of months per interval. Plus we pay the maintenance fee in the year 2018 and 2024. We just defined our incomes and costs and invest for excel has already calculated some ratios for us. 
Let's proceed to the next step. It is time to look at how much money is tied up in the working capital. We can enter the term as average number of days or enter change prepared as value. Let's use first option. We expect to receive payments from our clients with 30 days delay on average. And let's say that average term of payment for our current liabilities is 28 days. As you can see, invest for excel automatically calculated the amount of working capital required for our project. And finally, the last step that invest for excel offers us to do is to look at automatically generated cash flow statement and balance sheet. Cash flow statement gives valuable overview of a project we simulate. For instance, one of the most important items in this report is free cash flow, because the profitability indicators are calculated based on this row. Another important item is cumulative total cash flow. By monitoring this item, we can understand if our project requires extra financing or not. Financing file can be created in Invest for Excel and entered here. Second report is balance sheet. Here you don't have to enter any data. Invest for Excel has already built it for you and you can use it for analysis. Key financial table is made for your own ratios or parameters that you want to analyze. Data which is entered here will be included in sensitivity analysis. Let's make a quick overview what we have already done. We have entered basic values, defined investment items, specified income and costs. We have calculated the amount of required working capital and went through cash flow statement and balance sheet. Now it's time to look at our results. By pressing next button, Invest for Excel is bringing us to the results screen. This table or report gives us total overview of our project profitability. This is in a way a snapshot that presents all insights of the project. Here you will find the initial data and various profitability indicators, such as net present value, internal rate of return, payback time, and others. The result screen is not necessarily the end of the work. Often it only shows us how project looks like with initially specified numbers and we still need to adjust them to achieve the result that we want. One of great ways to do it is to perform the break-even analysis. As a simple example, let's try to find out the break-even value for electricity sales price. Let's use the ribbon menu to jump over to income statement. Select the cell where price is specified and press the break-even button. Within just a few seconds, break-even value is found. Now if we switch back to the results screen, we can see that net present value is zero. The project starts to pay itself off at this price level and we can use it as a guidance to adjust the pricing. When analysis is done, we can use the undo break-even function to get the values back the way they were. For more insightful assessment of your financial model, Invest for Excel offers to look at sensitivity analysis. There are six pre-built tables with graphics that reflect impact of chosen variable on profitability. Let's take a look at the first table. Here on the left side, you can see the variable discount factor. Second row represents positive and negative change of the original assumption. Initially, we expected our discount factor to be 6%. By clicking this button, we can choose any profitability indicator we are interested in. For example, let's take a look at payback term. Also here, you can see effects of variable change on other key financials, such as EBIT, return on net assets, and so on. In similar way, you can assess total investments, income impact, or variable and fixed costs. In addition to that, you have five extra pre-built tables for your own analysis, where you can choose exact variable that you are interested in. Just a few clicks allow you to create a chart, easily edit it and format the layout. You can even create new spreadsheets or insert previously created ones with your secondary calculations and linked data. Now is a good moment to save our progress by saving our project file. Sometimes we may want to consider several different variations or compare alternative projects. For that there is a very useful comparison table function. To show you an example, let's compare current version of the project with slightly modified one. We'll create a new comparison table file and save it with a descriptive name. The comparison table has six slots, allowing us to compare up to six alternatives side by side in key figures and visually. Let's press the button on slot number one to load our project. This has filled the first slot. Now let's come back to the project file, save it under new name,
and make some modifications. First, we can adjust the title of the project to distinguish it from others in the comparison table. Then we continue with entering the changes in capital expenditure by adding new account for the generator. This is an additional investment required in this implementation. Next, let's reflect the changes of this extra investment in the income statement. The upgraded generator promises to increase energy production by 20%, so we update the formula of production row. And in this case, because it's formula, it's important to use the copy formula function to spread the change. Since this is a very simple example, we are now ready to make the comparison. For your convenience, numbered buttons from 1 to 6 are available on top of the results screen. Each button represents a slot in comparison table. Let's press number 2 now to send the data to the comparison table file. Our comparison table is now ready for analysis, with two alternative projects shown side by side. Here you can find such key ratios as total investments, payback time, net present value, internal rate of return, and others. Let's hide and use slots by pressing the Hide Empty button. To compare project visually, take a look at net present value, internal rate of return, and payback sheets. Now the comparison table can be printed and brought to the decision-making meeting. Invest for Excel loves numbers, allow it to do the routine work for you and spend more of your time on analysis and decision-making.